Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. The first thing I can tell you is stop fucking in other people's lives. The second thing I tell you is do service for your own business, your own employer, and your own self. Now, when I say that, I'm saying that in a point of raging, and I will tell you why. Because I go different places to buy specific clothes for my current fashion preferences. At my age of 53, I don't need some little bitch telling me what I can and can't wear. I also don't need some bastard of Satan modifying my clothes so that they don't fit me correctly. And I've had that happen to almost all of my classic fire shirts that promote my business. They openly were large, extra large, but now they're fitting me like they're a medium, and I am fucking pissed. Not only that, they've been ripped up the side, practically all the way up to the armpits, and whoever the fuck is doing this is committing a hate crime on my life. And when I talk about this, I can talk about the illness of people. The illness of people think they have rights to people that they have absolutely no motherfucking rights to. And I have the right to use any fucking language I want to because this is America, motherfucker. And this is not the FCC of the television programs on the news. This is a man angry, super angry at a lot of people. People who lied, stealed, and cheated me, stole, and cheated me out of my life goods, out of my property, out of my paperwork, out of my privacy. And I can tell you story after story of siblings of old who are no longer with me and people in the community who thought they'd just play with me. But what pisses me off to no end are the absolute bastards of Satan, absolutely aggressive adversaries who've been actually cutting my marvelous beard. This beard was down to my belly button, and I've said this several times, and there's plenty of videos showing that in truth. That was truth. But the reality is I lay down to sleep and someone will approach me while I'm in REM and cut off my beard. And if it's some bitch at a retail shop that I met because I went in there to purchase something, then I hope her company sues her into the ground and puts her in jail for molestation and mutilation of me. If it's a man from the force, I hope that God literally kills him with COVID and every member of his family. You see, illness is not in me, but revenge is certainly a thought in me. It doesn't mean I'm going to bother to waste my time to do it, because here's what I know about God. God takes revenge on people who like to play with people like me. God said, I am your Lord, no God, your God, and no one else will be before me. But what you've been trying to do is be in charge of me, and I don't even fucking know you. I guarantee I don't know you, because the people that know me, like me, and trust me know that I have a right to my face. They know I have a right to my clothing. They know I have a right to my property. They absolutely know I have the right to my legal documents that are mine and my legal name, which is also mine. They also know I have the right to my monikers, my programs, my business things, my business papers, my translations, and anything I've done in any of my programs.